What's up, powerful people? My name is Eli, aka Super Kid, aka Clint Swift, aka the man in the zebra print headband, aka Mama There Goes That Man in the Zebra Print Headband. Shout out to Mark Jackson, and I am here to welcome you to episode 25 of the Pokemon Sword Babies Only Challenge. What's up, powerful people? If you're excited for today's episode, smash that like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon so you get notified when we put out new material, and as always, please leave any and all comments you have for me in the comment section below, powerful people. As you can see, in the corner of the gameplay, we have been busy little bees today. We went all over this wild area, collecting berries, collecting watts, and then we spent 10,000 of those watts on a couple of flamethrower TRs, which we're going to use to teach Charlemagne flamethrower, and I'm not sure who else. I know uh, Togepeter, as well as Desquarius, our Munchlax, can also learn flamethrower, so those are going to help us with our glaring steel weakness. And uh, for the rest of this episode, before we go to uh, fight Raihan, I want to go and explore some raids, powerful people. So today we are going to be doing raids with our baby team and see if we can get some fighting or ground or fire TRs that will be of use to us against Rose and Raihan. So I'm not going to invite others. Uh, we're just going to jump right in here uh, and use Devichka. See how this goes. This is our first raid in the series, powerful people. Smash the like button if you're excited. Komo'o, I'm not even a fear to you, dude. And uh, if you pay close attention, I don't know how much it's going to be sped up, so you might have a hard time seeing it, but we did actually see a Kamo'o just wandering around in the wild area, and I think that's the first time I've ever seen it in the overworld, so that was pretty cool. Uh, I was pretty stoked on that. Now, it's my turn to Dynamax, so I probably should, and just go Max Starfall, right? Well, here we go, let's find out! First raid with the baby team. How's it gonna go? We're obviously not gonna try to catch this thing if we do defeat it, but I just want to get experience candies and uh, and some TRs if possible, and uh, you know, have some fun with this part of the game. We haven't done this at all yet, powerful people, so should be fun, fun for all involved, huh? Not bad, pretty good hit, especially for a baby. Now the battlefield is. Uh, what does it say? Oh, it's Misty. He's become desperate and more aggressive. Of course, that means he's got the uh, barrier. Protection barrier. I thought he was going to try to hit me with that. I was like, dude, you know that isn't even going to hurt me. Correct. Um, my ally's attack fell. Clanging scales? That doesn't work on me, bruh. This guy's your worst nightmare, dude. What is that... What does that actually do? So heat more went down. Why did that happen? Do we not all get hit by the clinging scales? I'm confused now. Uh, Wobbuffet used amnesia. Of course we got Wobbuffet. Um, <sighs> hopefully that comes in handy. I, I'm not sure that it will, but maybe it will. Let's go for Max Mindstorm this time, huh? <clears throat> Just cause I know that the uh, the fairy move is quad effective, but maybe we can get. Oh, I thought maybe we could get the weird uh, battlefield. Hey, there you go. Please say that you countered. Please tell me you countered. Clanging scales doesn't affect me, dog. Just knock it off. Oh, oh man, now is Wobbuffet gonna go down? Dang it! That was the perfect opportunity for Wobbuffet to have used counter. <laughs> that would have been cool. Hey, revenge. That's not bad. That did pretty good right there, man. That was a good call. Very well done, uh, throw. Ooh. Now, um, the heat more is back. Yes, yes, of course. The heat more. I was like, which book was that again? I'm definitely going for max starfall this time. It was kind of stupid not to. Um, by kind of, I mean it was extremely stupid not to. Boom! Doesn't matter. See you later, Komo'o. No, I'm not going to throw a Pokeball. 
Don't catch. Don't want it. He disappeared somewhere into the den. Did we get anything good? Got Dragon Pulse, Dragon Dance, and Outrage. Well, I was hoping for a fighting type TM, but... Or TR, but those are cool, I guess. Maybe somebody can learn those. I don't know. That'd be neat. All right, let's get the heck out of here. What's up, Haxorus? I love you. You're one of my favorite Pokemon of all. All right. Now, let's head around and see what we can get as far as these... We checked them. We checked all of the glowing uh, dens earlier. This is a good one. Let's switch Pokemon. Let's go with Scout. And I don't need to invite anybody. Uh, maybe, just maybe, we can get Earthquake from this guy. I, I kind of doubt it, but who knows. Worth a shot, he is ground type. Good old Diggersby. Oh, we get Magikarp. How wonderful is that? Um... Let's go... Max Geyser, I suppose. Why not, right? Kind of foolish not to. Since I won't be able to Dynamax if I don't for a while. He might wipe out the entire rest of this team twice by then. Who knows? That's what Scout sounds like. Alright, Diggersby. Jolteon you Swift. Not bad. Good opener. Good opener. Glad we have a Jolteon in this fight against a ground type. That's cool. Whoa. That was also cool. <laughs> um, oh, and it starts to rain, which is going to activate our Swift Swim. His shield comes up, but... Oh my gosh. That Magikarp has Hydro Pump? That's amazing. Why was I sad about that guy? Max Quake. Okay, that's gonna take out, uh... Oh, he goes... It's a directed move. Okay. That's weird. I guess not, but it kind of is. I don't know. What's up, Togepi? Hey, we have a Togepi of our own. Super Fang. That was a silly move to use after that, but okay. Uh, let's go for Max Geyser. Quick attack. This guy's just gotta steal our thunder, doesn't he? Uh, no pun intended on account of it was a Jolteon. <laughs> yuck, 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 yuck. Dang, that didn't do much. But it did take out his shields. And, uh, lowered his defenses, of course. Take him down, Magikarp. Oh, you're so close. He used Dig. That's weird. <laughs> it's weird that they can still use just regular moves instead of the um, max form moves. Ancient power, that should... Come on. Super Fang cannot KO anything, which is pretty cool. Uh, this should take you out, I'm assuming. Oh, Jolteon doesn't even try to get in there with a quick attack. See you later, Diggersby. Give me Earthquake, please. <clears throat> uh, no. Don't catch. Diggersby disappeared somewhere into the den. Try attack and endure. Dang. Well, we're getting some candies at least. I really want Earthquake, powerful people. Scout can learn Earthquake. Do you understand how dope that would be? I think you do. You know what you know what Earthquake is. You know what's at stake here, powerful people. Um Where was another Uh Den. Glowing Den. There we go. I knew there was something somewhere around here. Careful of the beware of the beware. Oh, that's not a beware. That's a shift tree. Never mind. There's beware somewhere in here, though. Shift tree. Uh, I don't really want to do that one right now. Maybe in a little bit. Um, For now, I want to concentrate on ones that I think might give us Fighting ground or fire type TRs? Technical records? So that we have a better chance against steel types. 
which as we all know, are the thorn in our side, our Achilles heel. They are the worst matchup for our team, by a lot. Um, especially since we can't naturally learn any good uh, fire moves. Rosie has Weather Ball, which pairs nicely with uh, Sunny Day, but other than that, it's not, uh, it's very susceptible, you know, they could change the weather, so that's not great. Don't want my strategy to go out the window that easily. Uh, I thought there might be another, another den over here. Apparently I was wrong! Um, let's head down this slope, this gentle slope. Into the frigid blizzard, apparently. That's lots of fun. Who doesn't like biking in whiteout conditions? <clears throat> oh yeah, and then there's that, uh... That ledge there, that we have to contend with. We have to, uh, uh, maneuver around. Uh, what word am I trying to think of? I don't know. Can't think of it. That's the, that's sort of the dilemma I'm having. Um, let's head over this way. Let's go to that little den over there. Den of evil. Not really. Not really. I don't know what's going on in there. I can't judge them. I haven't even seen. Uh, hmm. Nah, not at the moment. Sadly. Sadly. Let's keep looking, powerful people. Let's just keep on looking. Take it easy, powerful. Stay calm. Just continue to look. Continue to look around, trying to maximize our chances to defeat the gym and, of course, Chairman Rose. That battle really, really terrifies me. It's living in my head. Rent-free. Um, head over here. Scooch around that little patch of grass. Yes, yes. Very, very safely. Uh, avoiding the grass, avoiding any unnecessary battles that we don't really want to get into, since we're trying to get to the dens. The wild dens. Um, because these wild battles don't drop TMs, or TRs, rather. We did, uh, get some cool items. Like, I, I got a focus sash earlier, powerful people. We got, um, assault vest, which is actually really cool. Uh, probably gonna use that. Salt Vest, of course, allows you to only use attacking moves, but it raises your special defense, I think. I believe that's how it works. Cool item. Cool item. Cool item is cool. This, I think, is a Torkoal, I, I, if I remember correctly. Yes! Let's switch to Scout again. Um... Yeah. Actually, do I need to replenish your PP real quick, Scott? Where are the berries at? Give me a Lepa berry. Yeah, there we go. Cool. Alright. Let's fight us a Torkoal. Whoops. No. Yes, quit. There. Switch Pokemon. Get Scout. That's the one we want. <laughs> now, don't invite others. We want it all to ourselves. Just kidding. I just don't want to wait for the other people. And then not even get four. And then, you know. All that silliness just waste a bunch of time. So, this seemed like the better option. Let's go, Scout. Uh, hmm. Okay. We get the Magikarp again. We have Eevee, which is probably going to have Helping Hand, so that's kind of cool. Let's go for Max Geyser. Shall we? No Helping Hand, huh, Eevee? Really? Really? Really, Eevee? Alright, I guess it's your move. You use it how you want. Look at Scout. Look how powerful she is. Uh, 
Hey, look at that! I was all ready to be upset with you. But instead... Oh, and we get the Sucker Punching. Sucker Punching Maractus! <laughs> Excellent! That was with the sun up power. I mean, it was helping handed though, I suppose. We get the rain. Uh, he's getting more desperate, of course. We predicted that. Uh, another hydro pump boosted by the rain. Critical hit. Of course, he has the shield, so it's sort of hard to tell. Goes for max strike on Scout. Come on, bruh. You know that's not gonna take down Scout. Um, Lava Plume. That uh, was super effective on Maractus. Everybody else did pretty well. Took it pretty well. Uh, let's go Max Geyser again. Maybe Eevee will help us again. Hey, look at that. Look at that! Uh, Max Geyser! Hello? Excellent. Super effective. Down goes his shield, and the next hit I think will take this thing down if this doesn't. Yeah, maybe not. Maybe not. Pin missile, that's gonna do nothing, dude. Okay, that's a weird move to have chosen. Multi-hitting bug move. Uh... I like the, like, look how big the clouds coming out of uh, the D-Max Torkoal are. Those are pretty cool. The uh, Maractus goes down. Magikarp has been burned. Storm raging above me is growing stronger. But ultimately, I'm not worried about it. I'm just going to Max Geyser you again. And uh, we're going to win. Look at this. Kablooey! Look at that. You're done. You're done. I'm not gonna catch you. Torkoal is weak. Ukraine is weak. Uh, Ukraine is not weak. Oh, we got another flamethrower. And a heat crash. I doubt anybody can learn that, but that would be sweet. And we got a bunch of EXP candies. Yum, yum, yum. And I gobble them up. Let's... Use these Lepa berries, these lovely Lepa berries again. Boom. Now we have enough flamethrowers to teach all three of the Pokemon that we have on the squadron flamethrower who can learn it. All of those who are capable of learning it can now learn it. Um. Shinotic. It is. Uh. Experience, of course. Uh, I think we can take on Shinotic with, with Scout, probably, since we have, uh, Air Slash. Yeah, let's try that. If, if we fail with, uh, Scout, then we almost certainly can beat this thing with, um, Rosie. In fact, if I had thought of it a little harder before I chose Scout, I would have picked Rosie for the first try. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> Because Rosie has Sludge Bomb, which is Shinotic's worst nightmare. We're getting pretty lucky with the uh, other water types uh, coming out with us. Let's go Dynamax, let's go Max Airstream, let's hit Shinotic with it, of course. <coughs> Excuse me! We're gonna throw our gigantic glowing Tron ball in the air. And out comes an enormous scout. Um, Are we gonna be able to go first though? Yes, look at that. And uh, Shinotic is pretty bulky, so I'm pleased with that. That was a good hit. Uh, raise our speed. Uh, goes for rock tomb, but he misses. Shinotic uses max overgrowth. Probably gonna hit Wishiwashi, just as I suspected. Does this dude have a sash or something? Uh, sadly, that terrain is not gonna help Scout. 
Oh, no, I guess Wishiwashi just went down. All right. Uh, what's what? All right, Amnesia. It's a pretty good move, I guess, for for Wobbuffet to use right now. Everybody but me is gonna get a little health. Uh, let's go for Max Airstream again. But of course. Nice. Well done. Well done. We raise our speed yet again. Ah, oh, it's getting more desperate now? Come on! Well, it only has three slots for its shield. That's good. Strength isn't bad. Effect Spore does poison the Mudbray, though. That's too bad. That's much too bad. Uh, it nullifies abilities and stuff. Does that mean our speed went back down? That's neutral, pretty sure. Yeah. Critical hit, though. Uh, and he goes for Strength Sap on the Wobbuffet. Interesting. His attack is extremely low. That was a weird move to have used. Um, Wobbuffet actually went for Counter that time, sadly. Instead of Mirror Coat, which would have actually been good. Out comes Wishiwashi, whose schooling ability is going to reactivate. Wasting a little bit more time. Uh, let's go for another max airstream. Hey, we can hit this guy real hard. That was real hard. That was a real hard hit. <laughs> well done, Scout. Um, goes for Astonish. That's not bad. And a Strength Sap. Of course. Can't forget about the Strength Sap. That was a little bit smarter of a move than the uh, Wobbuffet. Or a target for Strength Sap than Wobbuffet had been. Uh, Liquidation is a pretty strong move, although it does almost nothing. It's not very effective. And we get the counter that time, because he used uh, Astonish on the Wobbuffet. So that was a pretty productive turn. Of course, he gained back a lot of HP from uh, the Strength Sap. So that's no great. Not great. No good. Not great. Um, now we have Air Slash, <clears throat> which I don't think you can flinch a Dynamax like a raid boss. That would be awesome. Ooh, we might actually take you down. Oh, of course not. Never mind. Oh, that wasn't very much, actually. Nice. Okay. A couple of questionable moves right there by the Shinotic might have kept us in this fight. That's pretty cool. I think this... Yeah, I don't even care that Wobbuffet didn't need to go. Yes! I'm pretty sure we're gonna win. If we connect with the Air Slash, that should take it down, right? I believe so. I'm pretty sure. Let's go for the air slash. <clears throat> oh yeah, look at that. Perfect. Super effective. No, I'm not gonna throw a ball. Stop telling me to do that. Disappeared into the den somewhere. Ooh, look at all those experience candies. And we got energy ball. Ooh, maybe... Maybe Rosie can learn some of those. Those are some good looking moves right there. Powerful people. I'm glad we did that one. Um, now there was one over here. Oh wait, let's quickly, uh, let's Orenberry her up first. Yes, yes. Let's go through these quickly. And then, Go for a Lepa Berry on the Air Slashes. Perfect. Very good, very good. Set around here. What's the, uh, which den is it? I don't remember. I thought it was right over here. Was I mistaken? Was I mistaken? Powerful people! Oh, there's the Komo-O. 
That's pretty cool. I wonder if that was from an update or did he always do that and I just never saw it. Just happened to never ever see him before. Uh, that's possible because I haven't played sword nearly as much as shield and I don't think he does do that in shield. So that would make sense to me. Why I haven't seen that. Oh, there it is. What the heck? I missed that completely. All right, let's head back over there into the snowy snow. Okay, it's like directly in front of me. All right, let's head over to that one. See who's hiding in there. Is that Glalie? I think I saw Glalie earlier. Oh, this guy could have Earthquake. Maybe. I don't know. I'm going to send Scout in against him. And see if we can get Earthquake, because that would make my day. Um, this episode has been really fun for me. I hope you powerful people are having a fun time uh, watching us beat these raid bosses. Um, and I think at the end of this episode, we'll go ahead and uh, use some of our loot that we've acquired from this. Like, he, uh, level up some of our lower-leveled Pokemon with the experience candies and use some of the TRs if we can. You know, power people. Get ready for the next episode in which we will take on Raihan and the Hammerlock Gym. Um, so here we have Scout yet again. She's killing it in these uh, raid battles. Come on, we get to go first. Look at us. Not bad. Not bad at all. Get the rain going. Hopefully this Magikarp will go for a Hydro Pump. There we go. Buddy misses. All right. Okay. Why'd you use Max Quake on him instead of a Steel Move? I had a Focus Sash anyway, dude. Come on, Brett. Well, I guess since you probably wanted to, uh... Raise your special defense. That kind of makes sense, I guess. Um, Wobbuffet uses Safeguard. That's cool. So we can't get status That's pretty nice. Uh, let's go for another Max Geyser, because why not? We're in the rain and all that. What if we got a crit? Well, I don't think we did. It was super effective, though. Now he's getting desperate. That's the drawback. Um, hit this time. Yes. Very nice. Very nice. This guy's got Max Geyser. Who are you hitting with Max Geyser, dude? Okay. That was weird. Totally unnecessary, but whatever, man. Do you. Uh, revenge. You've got a sash too, huh? That's cool. <laughs> I'm not mad at that. Uh, let's go for another Max Geyser. Hydro Pump Max Geyser. Sucker Punch. Aw. Darn it. That's no good. That's two down. He only needs to take down two more. Ooh. That's going to make it a little harder for him, though. It certainly is indeed. His defense harshly fell, and so did his special defense, but he's... But the Swabafet's counter is ineffectual. Too bad he didn't just go right then. That would have been much cooler. But you know what? Say la vie. I suppose. Catherine sent out Togepi. Cool. Um... I'll go for a Hydro Pump, I guess. It's got low accuracy, or not perfect accuracy, but boom, perfect. Perfect anyway. Muddy water. Oh, I guess that hits all of us. That makes sense, I suppose. Okay. All right, Togepi. That was a little, little underwhelming, even for you. Counter. Oh, dang it. Stop using... Like, how is this thing slower than... Wobbuffet. 
I thought counter like had negative priority anyway. Maybe I'm wrong about that. Maybe it doesn't work in this kind of battle too. I don't. I don't know. I'll go for the air slash. Just because I don't want to miss. Oh, are you kidding me? All right, there we go. Perfect. Doesn't matter anyway. Finally, this thing goes down. Uh, I'm good. Not gonna catch it. What did we get though? S Power gem spikes and stone edge. Dang! I wanted earthquake so bad, power people. I want it so much. Well, that's, I'm not mad at that. Let's head around here. Got about four more minutes left on the timer, powerful people. Uh, I feel like there was another... Another one that was not... I mean, like, uh, what was it? Bisharp or whatever? That's kind of a tough one, since... I don't know, that, that one seems like maybe not worth it. Like, what am I going to get for that in the first place? And then, who do I have to take it down? I don't know. I don't know. Um, isn't there another... Yeah, there's another raid over here. Let's see what that is. Shall we? What do you say, power people? What do you know? What do you say? Um, we're going to scoot on over here. Past these guys. Is this the Glalie? Yes, it is. Uh, who do I want to fight Glalie with? If anyone. Actually, kind of nobody at the moment. Um, you know what? Let's see. I don't have any wishing pieces. I think I might just, uh, might just call that uh, enough raids and let's go and finish gearing up our team, you know? This is... This is Hammerlock. I don't want to go in there. Because that's where I'm actually supposed to go. Let's go! Yeah, if I go in there, I'm worried that it'll make me... It'll, like, get me stuck, stuck in some kind of uh, event or something, so... I'm gonna go here. We're gonna teach our Pokemon these new moves and give them experience candies and all that fun stuff. But I'm not actually gonna change the layout right now, Power of People, because these these uh, team changes are just to do these little these little maneuvers here. So let's switch you and switch you right there. Oops, actually, kind of want you on the team. For the time being. Just for the moment. Now. Let's go in the bag. Oops. That was the wrong slot. Here we go. Uh, oh wait. Is it in here? Where the heck do those go? Oh, I think they're actually in here. My bad. My bad, y'all. Let's use some experience candies medium. Let's give these to Simmons. I say 10. I don't know how much they do, so let's see here. This will be the litmus test. Ooh. Up to 32. Not bad. <laughs> Silly Simmons, you don't get to evolve, dude. Um, I'm going to cancel the timer. It's about to go off. Let's go ahead and... Let's give some... Let's give the rest of these to Desquarius, I suppose. Up to 27. Wants to learn Stockpile. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm good without it. No. No. Okay, and let's see. Uh, 
Let's give Dynamax Candy, or not Dynamax, EXP Candy L to, let's go with Togepeter, see what this does. Just one. Whoa. <laughs> Safeguard. Nah, I'm good. Silly Togepeter. Um, I'll give two of these to Desquarius. See what that does. I'm thinking we should get them, everybody up to at least 45, right? At least. If that's possible. Body Slam's not a bad move to learn. Uh... Yeah, that, that looks pretty good. Uh-huh. One, two, and ta-da. Fling! I'm gonna keep my old moves. Um, I'll use another one of these on you. 35. 35, apparently, is when uh, Desquarius wants to evolve, so I, that's something that I actually did not know. Um, I'll give two of these to Simmons right here. Thirty-eight. Almost there. Um, I guess one more. Probably do it. At least a forty, right? There we go. All right, uh, let's do Togepeter. Let's give you two more of these. Forty-three. Let's learn Follow Me. Hmm. That could be good. I think I'll get rid of Metronome for that. Since we are really trying to plan for these double battles in the next gym. Now Togepeter knows follow me. Alright, just about done with this. Just about done. Let's give the last two to Desquarius. Up to level 39. And wants to learn Amnesia. Uh... Hmm. That could be pretty good. I think I will go with... I'm going to get rid of Lick. One, two, and ta-da! Excellent. Learned Amnesia. All right. And now... Um... Ooh. I want to give those to Scout, I think. But I don't know if that's a bad idea or not. Mm. I don't know. Anyways, let's sort these by number. Nobody can learn Heat Crash. Grass Knot, yes. Um, hmm. Do I actually want Grass Knot on Rosie because she has Solar Beam? Um, Leaf Storm is also really cool, but it's got drawbacks. Energy Ball would be good. Uh... Mm, that's actually maybe better. I don't know because I have sunny day. I know I'm not sure about that one. Um, nobody can learn dragon dance either. Darn it! Endure. That's not a dumb move to learn. Rosie could learn spikes. That could be cool. Toka Peter can learn tri attack. That's awesome. I didn't even know that. Flamethrower. That's what we're looking for. Yes, Charlemagne. What shall we have you replace? Sing. That was an easy choice. Very good. Charlemagne forgot Sing and learned Flamethrower instead. That TR broke, but we have two more. And we are going to use the other one, one of them, on Togepeter. Um... I will get rid 
of Yawn. If I had Serene Grace, I would keep Yawn for sure. Or not Yawn, uh, ugh. It's not even what I wanted to say. Ancient Power was the other move I was thinking of getting rid of. If I had Serene Grace, I would keep Ancient Power for sure. I don't know why that got so mixed up when I tried to say it. Um... Hmm... None of this stuff. Um... Brick break, but... Mm, I don't know. I don't think that's that great. Alright. Let's switch the team back around. Um, let's get Scout. Let's get... Diocletian. And... I think... I think I want Reggie, right? Yeah. Who do we get rid of, though? Toga Peter. All right. <clears throat> this is the team that we will take into the gym. Powerful people. Let us save the game real quick. You know. You know how we do. Let's head outside of here so we're not in the weird area. And then let's set up the Pokemon camp. All right, powerful people. This was quite a unique episode for us on the in the series. We have not done anything like this. We have not done any raids at all. So hopefully you enjoyed that. I mean, you made it all the way to the end of the episode. So go ahead and hit that like button since you must have liked it. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon so you get notified when the next video comes out, when we take on the gym. You know, that's pretty exciting. And as always, leave any and all comments for me in the comments section below, Powerful People. What do you think of our, uh, the strategy that we came up with? Uh, what do you think our chances of beating Raihan are? I would love to hear from you. So, yeah, just let me know. And um, Real quickly before I get going, I just want to do my, uh, my traditional reminder to everybody, including me, that we are powerful people. We have the ability to influence the lives of the people around us. And I just, the reminder is mostly that we can do that positively by being patient and kind and generous with the people in our lives. So I just hope that everybody listening is going to do that. On behalf of everybody here at Snake Feathers, who is going to do that, by the way. Uh, my name is Eli, aka Superkid, aka Clint Swift, aka the man in the zebra print headband, aka Mama There Goes That Man in the Zebra Print Headband. Shout out to Mark Jackson saying, Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, peace, and love.